Welcome to another part of Web Stack Debugging. In this task, we need to figure out why Apache is returning a 500 error. And we are to do it with the help of Strace or Strace, whatever you choose to call it. And with Tmux. Install Ruby and Puppet Lint if it's not already installed. Let's install Tmux. Installing Tmux is necessary for debugging this task. It is going to take some time, so have patience. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you are yet to do so. Next, we start a Tmux session with this simple command. This will create a new Tmux session, with a nice all green status bar at the bottom. Next, we start another Tmux session by dividing the window into two vertically by pressing Ctrl-B and the pressing Shift key and number 5 to get percent. We are going to curl on window 1 and use Strace on window 2. But to be able to use Strace, we need to know the PID of the Apache process as we need to run Strace attached to the Apache PID to be able to switch between Tmux windows press Ctrl B and then arrow key. These are the PIDs. Now we go to window 2 to run Strace with Apache Process PIDs. Do the same for the next PIDs. Move back to window 1 and curl. First curl gives us the error message on window 1. The second curl gives us another error on window 2. Looking at the error on window 2, we can see a no such file or directory message, and we can see the parent directory that is housing the non-existing file. Let's attach Strace to the other PID.
now. We close both TMUX sessions and figure out the file housing the wrong extension. I think it is a typographical error. To search for an occurrence of an instance of .phpp, we use this command. Oh, made a mistake. This shows us all files that has PHPP inside. Now, we check them visually to see how to write the wrong. This is a compressed file, not what we are looking for. Let's see how many lines we need to visually cross-check. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Do it if you got the strength. I will instead use a command to locate the line number containing the PHPP typographical error, causing the menace. This command will tell us the line number. That's not the right one. Now that we've known the line number, we go for visual checking. Right there. Next, we write a puppet file to automate the modification for the write.php extension.
Now we apply puppets. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you are yet to do so.